Well, I think there's a couple things that really stick out. Um, you know, some guys out there made some mistakes, you know, Cliff with the air. Uh, Jed had a couple balls that got by him, but they kept playing baseball, and I think I think that's in an, it. it uh, you know, that's everything in a nutshell. You want to have our guys understand you've got to turn the page on error, get your head in the play. Uh, Cliff started an important double play in the ninth. Um, so uh, even though we opened to crack the door back open for them, uh, our guys kept playing. We got some big hits, uh, you know, big home runs from Albert and Jeffrey and uh, and Jet, and um, they kept playing baseball, and uh, that was fun to watch. Well, we have a long way to go. It's it's always nice to break a streak like we had, but you know our challenge is, you know, it's it's in front of us. Uh, we need to play better. You know, even tonight we did a great job on the offensive end to keep pressuring them, but we uh, we cracked the door open a little bit and didn't make some pitches on the mound. So we'll uh, we'll keep trying to get better. Having a Ron at third waving home Jet, who's not necessarily the fastest guy. How much confidence do you have in Ron in making a decision like that? To- Really did change oh, you know, Ron has great game feel, and he, uh, his decision making is terrific. So, um, you know, he's he lets the play develop. He does, you know, he's he's as good as there is down at third base. He really knows what he's doing down there, and um, I think, uh, you know, uh, our our issue was really not being able to put a runner in there for Jet. Uh, so Jet worked hard to get a secondary lead, understanding on a double he's got to try to score. And I thought he did a good job of cutting the bases, and even though Jet wasn't fast, that was a pretty clean route. Ron read it great, sent him home, and sent him home, and we got the you know go-ahead run.